we will find out soon what's going on um i've been trying to i took a bath with a shower this morning with some aromatherapy stress relief so i can kind of calm my nerves a little bit so we'll see And I know this is going to be weird. Take one, I know it's so weird, just a little bitty scoot down towards me. I know it's weird since I have the probe in you. It's okay. But sometimes that can change what we see. Sorry, fine. No, you're fine. All right, why? Well, I'm going to go get Catherine. Okay. Go back, just so they can make sure that I'm not missing anything. So I'm still not seeing anything in the gestational sac. Okay. And I just want to make sure that it's not just me. Okay. What am I measuring it today? Six and two. And you're six and four. So how your gestational sac is measuring is within the error of measurement. Mm -hmm. It's just we're not seeing it. Yolk the yolk sac, sac yeah. Yet.
know. So this may look like a faint yolk sac. Do you see it kind of? Mm, right kind of, but it looked like that stuff yeah. passing through. Like yeah, the little, like all of this. So I yeah. don't know if that is what that is or not. Coming right there, it looks exactly like yolk sac. I just don't know if I can get it in any other angle. I'm going to take a picture of it. It's faint, so I don't want to call it a yolk sack and it not be a yolk mm -hmm. sack. I'll take a picture of it so that it can be looked at by Dr. Griffith. Okay. So I can kind of see it there, but at the same time, I just don't know if it's the borders of the gestational sac being seen as I'm scanning through. Okay. Okay. Alright, bye. I gotta wait to hear from Dr. Griffith. Yes. Okay, so I'm back in the car now for my appointment. As you can see, more unanswered questions. So now, most likely, I'm gonna have to come back Thursday again to get rescanned. She said she can kind of look like she sees something, but I just think it was like really the whole background and like blood flow in my uterus is what she was seeing so i don't know i'm gonna just ugh, it's <laughs> it's just stressful very stressful um you know so i guess when i come back thursday we'll see what's gonna happen what they're gonna say um and i'm gonna have to ask my doctor how long does it usually take for them to call something like this to say it's a I think it's what blighted ovum or something when the gestational sac is empty. Um, you know, see how many weeks he will allow me to go up until until he calls it where I have to get like probably that removed and then give me medication and remove it if it's nothing there. I don't know. So I gotta wait till Thursday. This is like a journey, you guys journey so um i did blood work today it was very packed today since they're closed for um new year's eve tomorrow so with my blood work today i can probably kind of tell something to see if my hcg levels are still going up or if they're decreasing that will kind of help um tell what's going on but i'm gonna just you know try to relax as much as i can i've been trying to stay in bed as much as i can drink a lot of water is what a lot of people um you guys reach out to me and told me where to help so um yeah i'm just you know i already prayed on it i'm leaving it in god's hands there's nothing i can really do at this point but just try to continue fighting so y'all will hear back from me thursday like i know this is not news y'all wanted to hear this is not news i wanted to hear i wanted to be more put at ease today but you know some things are really just out of our control at times and that's just the way of the world so <clears throat> thursday I'm pretty sure Tony will be with me, and we will see what's going on. Hopefully, I get more answers from my doctor when he said Thursday. But I'll catch y'all later.